Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. Thank you so much for joining me. We are back with a part 10 of my full book Colour Along in RJ Hampson's gorgeous book Awake. And today we have this cute picture which is called Cat Attack. Now I am going to be, as usual, using my Ohuhu markers. Um, I apologise if the lighting's a bit different today. I've got an overhead lamp on. It's, it's a little bit later in the afternoon than I had planned and it's getting a little bit darker so I thought having the lamp on was easier but I don't know if it's going to cast too many shadows hopefully it will be okay um so as always I've printed my page out on transitite perfect coloring paper which is great for alcohol markers um and I'm just going to be using alcohol markers which is what we've been doing in every page in this book and I'm going to start with the little cat I think so I have YR8 YR107 and YR110. I'm planning on doing a bit of an orangey coloured cat. I'm actually going to do something a bit different today and start with my lightest marker here because I kind of want his little cheeks to be a little bit lighter than everything else. And then I'm going to add the other colours in. So then I'll go in with my darkest marker. I've got the wrong end. <laughs> so, um, I think I feel like I need to apologize a little bit because I um I think I got the order of the book a little bit wrong in that um I've been trying to follow the order of the book but because I've printed my pages on um transitite perfect coloring paper I I kind of printed that I tried to keep them in the order that they printed out in but I'm not sure if that happened, I think I may have got the order mixed up a little bit because I was watching Yolanda from Colouring Biker Mama and she um, has the actual physical book and her order was slightly different to mine in that this page was actually page number nine and it's ended up being page 10 for me. So <laughs> we're going to be doing all the pages, but I just thought I'd throw that in there just in case you were wondering why I'd got the order a bit mixed up. It's just because I've printed mine, downloaded mine rather than buying the actual book. I couldn't find the book online here. So um, yeah, I just decided to print it off and I may have got the order slightly wrong, <laughs> but it's not, not to worry. We are going to be doing all of the pages so it's no biggie. Okay, I'm going to do the inside of his ears in the same lighter colour. And I will just do his nose as well. And I was going to add, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Add some little kind of tigery looking stripes. I don't know whether they're going to show up a great deal. But there's yeah, something there. And that'll do for the cat. There's not much to colour there. It's pretty small. Oh, I do need to do his eyes. Hmm. I'm going to leave them white because I'm going to do the outside of his goggles. So I'll leave his eyes white for now. Let's go on to his scarf. Actually, let's leave his scarf because I'm going to do the plain first and see how we get on with that. So I decided to do the plain and kind of greens and browns. Um... I wanted it to look a little bit like an, you know, like one of those old fashioned wooden planes. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to work. So let's just see how we go. So I'm going to start with my darkest marker and I'm going to lay that. Sorry, I didn't say I'm using BG2, G5 and G9 for this part. And I just wanted to kind of, I don't know, I just felt like green would look kind of cool. So I decided to use green and um, a little bit of brown on there as well. Such a cute picture. I just love RJ Hampson's pictures. They're so cute and fun. And there's always a sense of kind of comedy with them as well, isn't there? He always has a little bit of a funny uh, element to them, which I really like. So this G9 is quite a lot lighter than the other two. So I am going to work over that edge a little bit a few times just to make sure it blends out nicely. And that's the other thing I should probably mention is that if you are doing this in the coloring book, don't get too stressed if your, um, if your blends don't come out 
as smoothly as mine. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just that you're using the coloring book, which the paper is not designed for alcohol marker in the same way that my paper is. And so it won't take the layers as well. So <laughs> it's nothing that you're doing wrong. It's just the fact that you're using a different paper and it will react differently to the alcohol markers. So I thought I'd throw that out there just in case you were thinking that, you know, like I'm making my blending look easy. It's all down to the paper. The paper makes such a difference with alcohol markers. It really, really does. Um, alcohol, I've said this loads of times, but alcohol markers need a smooth paper and they're designed for the, because they are alcohol based, they're designed to kind of mix almost together and um, create a nice blend between the two colors. So um, they are able to do that on a smooth surface paper because the ink doesn't sink directly into the paper. It takes a little while to sink in and if it's a little bit wet, um, it can move around on the page and blend together to create a nice smooth blend. So. If you were wondering, <laughs> if you were thinking that mine, I'm not saying that mine is perfect by any stretch of the imagination because it's not, but if you were thinking that mine, my blends look slightly better, that could be the reason. Um, just because the paper is, is, this is actual alcohol marker paper, if you like. So it's designed to let the alcohol markers work to the best of their abilities. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if it does. But I hopefully you get what I mean. It just, yeah, don't stress too much if it's not looking quite right. And sure, it would still look great. I've loved seeing everyone's pages. I really enjoyed seeing what everybody's doing. I love seeing people that have added a little bit extra into their pages. Some people are doing it all exactly the same as me, which is also awesome to see because there's always little like quirky differences as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying seeing everybody's pages. I'm loving seeing this little book come to life and filling up. We are one ten, one fifth of the way through already. So we have done 20% of the book already, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So there are 50 pages. So 10 out of 50 makes 20%. I think that's right. My maths is pretty good, I think. Um, so yeah, that's really, really cool. And I love, like I say, I just love seeing it fill up. I love seeing the pages come to life. It doesn't take long. I'm not spending huge amounts of time on this every week. It's literally 30 to 40 minutes for each page. And it's just a lot of fun. I'm just really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well and having fun with it. And yeah, enjoying seeing your page come to life as I am with mine. Okay, I'm gonna do this other wing here next. These markers are nice and juicy. I don't think I've used these colors very much at all. So I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to do this so I don't move the page. Um, yeah, my markers are really nice and juicy. You can really see the ink coming out of them, which is nice. I like having nice juicy markers. It does, it, honestly, it makes such a difference as well if you've got plenty of ink in your markers as to how well they kind of blend out. And because um, obviously it's easier to not, so I wouldn't say saturate the paper, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's easier to get an, a wetter paper, which makes it easier to blend. I really like these colors actually, they're nice. It's a nice deep green. I wasn't sure. I was kind of like, I, I, at one point I was thinking that maybe I should do the, the plain like red and blues, um, maybe yellow and blues. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. And then I thought, well, I'll go for a deep green. It kind of has that more vintagey feel to it. And then my little orange cat will probably stand out a little bit more against the greens as well. So that was my thinking behind choosing the greens in the end. Okay, I just, I just, and I do just keep going back and forth over those blends just because, like I say, there are quite, there's quite a big difference between the darkest and the lightest marker. So to get it smoother, you need to kind of spend a bit of time blending them out. Okay, let's do this one down here. Oh, 
a little bit around that button there. I'm hoping my camera doesn't run. Honestly, I need to get a new iPhone that has more storage because I'm always running out of storage space on my phone. And I'm always trying to back things up and delete unnecessary things. And I spend so much time doing it. Um, I don't have much memory on my phone at all. So I really do need to invest in a new phone that has more memory, but that's so expensive, aren't they? Like honestly, I know we use them every day. Um, sorry, I know I've got planes going over. Yeah, I know we use we use phones a lot, but I, I just, oh my gosh, crazy. And they keep coming out with newer and newer models. <laughs> I'm like so far behind, I'm not really, I'm a bit of a technology dinosaur really, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go in with this one. So I always, as always, just like to do kind of my colouring in sections so that I have time to work on each section while the paper is wet from the marker rather than um, leaving it to dry too much. So I had a bit of shadow in there. But yeah, I was struggling with the colour of the plane. I was going back and forth, back and forth between different colours trying to think what I would use. And in the end, the green kind of, I don't know, just called out to me and I thought, yeah, I'll go with the green. <laughs> thought it looked quite cool. I do like how my little cat pops against the green of the plane. I think that looks quite neat. Okay, so. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do this bit in here. Do all of that bit dark because it's probably going to be in shadow there. And maybe a little bit around his little cockpit there. And just leave a little bit of space for that lightest marker. Let's go over that one more time. I think that's most of the green done. I'm not sure. I might do that. I'm not sure about this bit. Okay, I'm going to come in with a kind of silvery combination. Um, so CG204 and CG2, hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to do some kind of metal bits. So this I think is going to be a metal colour. I've just got two, two markers for this bit. Again, these two are fairly different from each other, so just working over that kind of line there so it, it blends out a little bit. And do that a couple of times. Like if you have a big difference between the markers, if you do it a couple of times, it does tend to make it a little bit smoother. Okay, let's do the propellers. I'll do them in the same color combination. You could do fun stuff here, like adding in um, like a silver gel pen if you wanted and color all this in like a silver gel pen, or you could add some metallic paint. Um, yeah, kind of whatever takes your fancy really, but I'm just doing it. Like I say, this, this for me, this is all about being quick and easy and not spending hours on um, a page. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just making, Making it simple but fun. Okay, I'm going to do these bits as well. Oh, I've got the light marker. I keep picking up the light marker instead of the dark one. That's okay. I'll just start with the lighter one and then add some shadow with the dark. 
and yeah I think I'm going to do the same for these bits so what I've got out I don't know I really don't know what bits are metal and what aren't on a plane okay sorry about that yeah so just gonna add a little bit of silver there and to these bits as well um where else do i need to add this probably to this bit as well i think and i don't know i think i'm gonna do this bit brown um do i need to do it inside i think i'll need to do this bit as well In there okay then I'm going to pull out a darker combination um, which is CG 208 and CG 209 and I'm oh, put the wrong end I'm gonna add that to these bits to the tires like so i don't think there's oh i think i put the wrong color on first yeah i have that was the lighter color so the 08 is the lighter color and the 09 is the darker so i'm just going to go back over those bits that i'd already put down and then i can blend out the lighter one not that it makes a huge difference but Okay, we'll do the same on the other tire. And then blend it out again. I'm hoping the lighting's okay. Sorry guys if it's not up to its usual standards it just it's a little bit later in the afternoon i got held up doing all sorts of stuff today work got in the way of life today <laughs> uh, so i didn't get quite as much time to get this done as i had hoped okay i'm gonna add a little bit to this bit hoping it kind of looks a bit like a leather trim around the edge i don't know i really don't know what planes were made of back in those days um and let's add just a little bit of the darkest color in here. Just around these little bits. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull in some brown markers and kind of do the rest of the playing. So I have YR9, YR91 and YR10. So it's gonna go in that order from darkest to lightest. So let's start with the darkest here. Oh, I keep getting the wrong end. Kind of like reddish brown colours, these ones. And I just thought it kind of adds to that vintagey look. And again, <laughs> keep getting the wrong end. Yeah, the right end this time. A little bit in that little gap there. I don't know what colour that's meant to be. Um, I'm going to do these bits as well. I'll do a couple at a time so I'm not constantly pulling caps off. I don't know. These, yeah, maybe they're meant to be metal. <laughs> Don't know, but we'll do them brown. This adds a bit of contrast. I like that green and brown combination. I think that's quite nice. Okay, we're getting there. And put 
Brush that bit off. I love that Andre Hampson's line art is actually quite thick. It does make life a lot easier um, when you're using alcohol markers. Because sometimes alcohol markers can bleed outside the lines. That's another thing that happens more often in kind of more toothier paper or thinner paper. Um, it can bleed outside the lines a little bit more um, than it will on this paper where it kind of stays put where you've put it down. So just be aware of that as well. these bits off. Oh, I'm being a bit clumsy today. Okay, and I'm going to do this bit in the same combination. So, I'm going to add kind of a little bit around here like this. And blend that out a bit. Okay, and finish with the lightest. Okay, sorry, I feel like I'm having to rush this a little bit. It's half time. My kids are off school. They're always wanting something. <laughs> That's why I didn't get to start this page as early as I would have liked because I was trying to do stuff for them. And then I sat down and now my youngest is hunting around looking for something in particular. And I'm trying to deal with that. But I do want to get this finished quickly before I go and talk to him. So, okay, there we go. I'm going to do his scarf now. Scarf and his goggles. I think I'm going to do his goggles in the brown as well, actually. I think, you know, brown. I don't know why. Just it feels like they used to have kind of like leathery goggles, didn't they? I don't know. I might be making things up. <laughs> I think that's what they used to wear, these kind of like leather kind of goggles. And we can do something fun. Oh dear, it's going over his eyes, but that's okay. We can do something fun with um, the kind of insides of the goggles at the end. Okay, and then for the clouds, I'm just going to do something really really simple I'm going to use G420 which is called green shadow and I'm just kind of gonna go around the bottom edge of each of my clouds nothing fancy just kind of emphasizing those swirly bits and that's pretty much it. I want them to look white. I'm just adding a little touch of color to, um, just to, I don't know, highlight them, make it quick and easy. Right, his scarf, I was gonna do a lighter green, but I feel like it's too much green. Um, so I think, what color should we go for? Should we go red? Yeah, let's go red. Okay, let's go. Uh, if I can find it. Yeah, let's try this and see how it works. I'm going to go R8 and R1 for his scarf. Just add a little pop of something else. And it's only a tiny little bit, so it doesn't matter too much. But I think the green, if I went with green, it's going to look too green. Everything's going to look green. So 
So quite a big difference between these two colors, but we'll just go over that line a little bit a few times and it should smooth out. And there we go. Okay, so let's finish off with a few little bits and pieces. So I'm gonna take that G420 again and just I'm gonna add a touch around his goggles just to kind of make them look like glass just a little bit. It doesn't add a huge amount, but just add something. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Secura Jelly Roll in white in the size 10. And as always, let's add some kind of highlight details to everything. I just like doing this. I always think it adds something to the page. Kind of elevates it. And it all definitely makes it look a lot more cartoony. Where I've gone over the edge there, I'm just going to color that in with my white. So you can't see it quite so much and I'm just going to emphasize the little dot in his eye. Okay, let's add some to this part of my plane. And to this part, oh I'm finding it really hard to get in here. I'm kind of twisting around in my seat so that I can keep my page the same way without moving my page. I always find it really hard. I generally move my page around if I'm not filming um, so that it makes it easier to kind of get into the little edges. Okay, let's add some to this bit. And some on here for sure. I kind of like the way it's looking. I think it does look a little bit vintagey, which I I was going for so I'm quite happy with that. Add a little bit on there, some to a little bit of metal work here and here. And yeah, we'll add a little bit around this bit as well. Okay, I'm gonna add a touch to his nose and that's pretty much it. And then the only other thing I'm gonna add is my glossy accents to his little goggles to make them look a bit more like glass. Let's see if my glossy accents is gonna come out. No, it never does. I think I need to invest in some more glossy accents because this one is constantly clogged up. Maybe I just need to use it more often. It seems to be really clogged up in there. Right, let's try that. I think it's gonna come. I think it is. What is that? Ooh. So close to coming out. Right, sorry, another interruption. And I think I have managed to unclog my, yeah, I have finally unclogged my glossy accents. And we're just gonna add that to the goggles. And then that is it, page complete. I rather like this one. I think he, he looks quite fun there. <laughs> Um, again, very simple. You could add more to it if you wanted, add a background, whatever you fancy. I just want to keep mine nice and simple and easy. But that is our cat attack page all finished. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.